All right, folks. Hey, my name's Lance Spitzner, and I'm with SAN Security Awareness. Hey, with all the news going around about coronavirus, one of the things I wanted to help you with is better understand and how to figure out when a bad guy may be attempting to use this situation to attempt to trick or fool you. It's commonly called social engineering, and this is a common technique they use to try to attack you, either at work or at home. And for many of us who are now working from home, this is a perfect opportunity for them to try to trick you. These social engineering attacks are going to use a variety of different methods. And one of the most common is creating a sense of urgency. They use crisis, intimidation, or fear to rush you into making a mistake. So first, be on the lookout for any message, phone call, text message, email that is creating a tremendous sense of urgency. And be careful, the bad guys are really good at pretending to be a legitimate organization, such as in this case with the coronavirus, pretending to be the World Health Organization, or perhaps the CDC. If you get such an urgent message asking you to take action, be cautious. The best way to protect yourself, go to the CDC website, go to the World Health Organization website, and get the information from the source. But there's other ways the bad guys could try to take advantage of you of you also, perhaps with messages that are too good to be true, like a miracle cure for the virus. Be careful of those. Some other ideas too, perhaps when you want to buy certain goods online, bad guys could try to take advantage of you and you know, have exorbitant prices for something that's normally just a couple of dollars or something like that. Finally, be careful of what you read in the news, especially social media. There's a lot of fake news out there where people are trying to generate fear and the situation's not really the case. The one I just saw just a couple of moments ago, somebody had posted a video of people storming a store and the person posted pretending it was about people storming the store to get food because of the virus. In reality, it was a video that was almost 10 years old people trying to get into a shopping store because of a big sale on laptops. So, that's nothing else, folks. Just use common sense, and if you get a message, you get an email that's really pushing your emotions, just breathe, relax, and if you want to get information on what's really happening, go to the source. All right, be careful out there, and good luck.